I think we've been very clear and the community has been very clear about what the expectations are and Forrest has just chosen not to respond. They've come to us at the 11th hour with an awful, uh, what I would say is an awful proposal and suggested, threatened essentially to do uh, greater harm to our community if we don't accept this. And for me, that is not acceptable. I will not support any TUP for a workforce lodge that is not dry and does not have an appropriate traffic mitigation. I think the combination of alcohol and personal vehicles is very probably going to result in personal injury and recklessness on our forestry roads that are actively used by the public. As we've stated numerous times, one of our primary concerns with this camp is the sexual violence that women, in particular Indigenous women, in our community will most probably experience. I'm also concerned about the socioeconomic impact of the work camp on our community. It is well documented, as Councillor Greenlaw pointed out, that these work camps have significant negative impacts both to our to many communities, both socially and economically. Um, and I do not see enough mitigation mechanisms uh, in the current proposal. They need to address the concerns around community safety and sexual violence. They have not done that. My feedback is mostly coming out of a point of fear and frustration. And that's a place that I really hate having this conversation from. And that's because in the staff report, the alternative if this TUP is not successful is that the applicant is planning to provide workers with a living out allowance. And that simply is not acceptable to me where we're at in this point. Seeing a legacy proposal that is zero is leaves me speechless. And The best legacy project would have been affordable housing for our community and the time has passed for that. But we wanna be clear on what the benefits are going to be uh, in cash value, other sort of legacy projects that this is gonna go forward. We have a, a worker shortage, we have a housing shortage. Give us some actual concrete solutions. If that means adjusting your timelines, if that means adjusting your budgets, so be it. That's what you need to do. We have serious concerns in our community and they need to address them if they want uh, permits. I find it really problematic given that these issues were raised the very first time this any of this was considered. And here we are at the, what can only be described as the 11th hour, trying to affect change and, say, and being told that we're far too far down the road. We do not need personal vehicles at this work camp. The proponent has said that they are not able to, to stop workers from accessing the community um, and not able to prevent them from using their personal vehicles, but that simply is not true. They're choosing not to. We have seen through wood fiber that they are actually able to do that. Clearing, they talk about clearing for, um, uh, fire protection, but then what does that do for all the recreation and tourism aspects of, of this area? Uh, you know, the idea that this might be a staging ground for people, for workers to to launch their recreational snowmobiles and ATVs and, and store them there during work, we just makes no, I mean, it's almost like Fortis is uh, trying to get a rise out of us. <laughs> Fortis was warned about many of these issues back when they're doing the engagement on their EAO application originally. They didn't listen then. Uh, there has been many discussions uh, well before February. Yeah. After February, Fortis we are in a climate crisis that. and they're proposing a new fossil fuel project completely contrary to what all the science says. And while we don't have authority at our level over the project as a whole to accept worker camps and other things that facilitate this, which seem to, as proposed, do a lot more harm than benefit, I just don't know what our justification or rationale to accept it is. I think we have to hold Fortis where we have some authority to say, look, at least you have to provide more community benefit or reason to accept these things. Uh, and that's just not there. I think, you know, there are opportunities. They've heard about the opportunities to do that and they haven't been willing to so far. And so if Fortis is listening and does want to address some of these things, then let's actually see you actually resolve some of the things.